a sound familiar to every goon, whether it is at dawn or dusk. So while the French have their baguette, the Italians have their ciabatta, and we in Goa have our pao. Hi everyone, I'm Stefan Montero, and I am going to be taking you on a tour of a traditional Goan bakery. But before that, a little history on how pao came to be. Bread making was introduced to the Goans by the Portuguese. The art of baking bread was taught to a few Goan Catholic families, hailing from Salsate in South Goa. These families migrated to various parts of Goa and set up traditional bakeries. Traditional bakers in Goa are known as poderes. There are different kinds of Goan bread, pao, poi and undo. In Goa, bread is made twice a day, once in the wee hours of the morning and later in the afternoon. Raw ingredients like wheat flour and wheat bran are bought in bulk and stored at the bakery. A metal tin is used as a measure for wheat flour and makes for approximately 200 plus breads. Wheat flour, sea salt, baker's yeast and water are added to a mechanized kneading machine, the speed of which is controlled by means of a foot brake. The pode checks for the texture of the dough at this stage. Not too long ago, pao was made using wheat flour, sea salt, sur and water. Sur, which is known as coconut toddy, is obtained from the sap of the inflorescence of the coconut tree and was used by locals as a fermenting agent. Bread made from coconut toddy would last for two to three days at room temperature and had a distinctive desirable taste. Nowadays, baker's yeast is used as a substitute for toddy as it costs less and toddy may be adulterated too. The dough was also kneaded by hand in large troughs. Labour was inexpensive and easily available at that time. But with increasing costs, the need for partial mechanization was needed. So once the dough is ready, it is scooped up and placed onto a table, after which it is covered with a cotton cloth and kept aside for proofing. During this time, the yeast utilizes the natural sugar present in the flour, water and the radiant heat of the bakery to leaven the dough. This takes about 4 to 5 hours. While the dough is left for proofing, the oven known as Fordner in Konkani is preheated for baking. The traditional oven is dome-shaped with a hollow mount, the basic framework of which is made of laterite stones and covered with a thick coating of red mud. Did you know that the interior of the oven, that is, from the floor of the oven to the centre of the oven, are filled with thick glass empty soda bottles packed with sea salt and topped with clay tiles. This helps to retain heat when the firewood is placed on the tiles and burnt using coconut husks. The top of the oven has a chimney which can be opened and closed. It takes approximately 4 hours to heat up the oven. The embers of coal are later removed using a curved iron rod. The oven is then mopped clean with the help of a long-handled cotton mop. There is a narrow opening in the front, which is the mouth of the oven through which the firewood or pow is put. The oven is now ready and at the right temperature for baking to commence. There is a lamp that hangs over the mouth of the oven, which faces the interior of the oven. While the oven was being prepared, the Podeirs have been busy preparing a variety of Goan breads like poi, undo and pao. To make poi, balls of leavened dough are immaculately bailed out in wheat bran and left on the tray for about an hour. Poi's are the first to go into the oven and are directly placed over the heated tiles. Next to go into the oven are the undos, which are leavened balls of bread with a signature handmade gash in the center. This bread too is placed directly on the piping hot tile. After this comes the pao, wherein the balls of dough are placed into rows of two in metal trays. They are left to rise and further leaven, thus filling the tray. These trays are then placed into ovens till they are baked. The average bake time for all the breads is 15 minutes and a tool called an urpok is used to place and remove the breads to and from the oven. The bread after being removed from the oven is placed in cane baskets, locally called pantule. The smell of bread being baked draws one and all to the bakery. 
This bread is also delivered in a large pantone placed at the back of a bicycle, covered with a sheet to prevent any dirt from falling in. The arrival of the poder is clearly marked by his horn. Pau, Undo and Poi are best eaten with local curries like vegetable kaldin, windalos and can also be eaten with just about anything. Various meats, vegetable and fish can also be sandwiched between these delicious breads. A real treat for anyone visiting Goa.